I'm bored. I wonder if I can uh, play some Men of War. Do, 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 do. Later. Well, alrighty then. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is King of Diamonds. And I am bored. Very bored. And it just so happens I decided to get back into Men of War. Or at least Men of War decided to let me back in because it's... Honestly, it just makes me so impatient to have to load this game over and over again. Like, every time... I try to load it, it takes about two hours. Now, excuse me if the sound is too loud. I keep having to readjust it. Sometimes it's too loud, and sometimes it's just too quiet. And that's really annoying. But anyways, this is a scenario. What if Patton didn't get assassinated, and he convinced everyone to go to war with the Soviet Union? Now, honestly, I didn't really initially think that America had a chance, because, come on, the Soviet Union just... They're massive. But then you look at the casualties, 30 million, and very many of their experienced uh, tankmen died. It's like, well, maybe they do have the chance. They just, they lost tons of tanks. But they lost an equal amount of uh, planes compared to the, uh, to the Allies. Honestly, there are no, the British aren't here, and I'm not really sure that they would actually go to war. They would probably go with it if America decided that it wanted to go to war. But then I thought of something even more interesting that I kind of want to do later on. And I kind of want to do it like, you know, the Civil War where Communist China takes over uh, all of China. You know, Mao takes over. I think that if the United States went to war with... The Soviet Union, they would also help the Kuomintang. I think that's how you pronounce it. They would hope they would try to help the Kuomintang uh, take over all of China. Now, I'm not. I don't necessarily know that much about China, even though I probably should. Mm, or I don't know that much about Kuomintang anyway. I know a bit more about China. It's just I, I don't know that much about the Kuomintang, but. Uh, it would be interesting to see the Americans help the Chinese against the or, or the commenting against the People's Republic of China. I think this is what you call them. And HOI4 that that their name keeps changing for some reason. Uh, Shanganing. Then it changes to English. I don't know what Shanganing me means. No way ever taught me Chinese. My mother wouldn't even teach me Tagalog. So anyways, yeah, the, t the scenario is America invades Russia and Russia's uh, given them everything that they have. And uh, then I realized this is a little bit kind of unrealistic, but also kind of realistic because I guess uh, at the front of the borders, they the Soviets would like have their best men at the... Uh, at the front and the worst at the back, you know, trying to cover, train. But honestly, they'd be going through a huge depression at this point because they, I mean, what's the population of, of the Soviet Union at the time? Yeah, I don't know. But they lost 30 million, and, and that's a, a lot of experienced soldiers to have been lost. And that's... You know, that they're pretty weak at that time. Not so sure that everyone would join, but maybe the Ukrainians, Belarusians, maybe? No, probably most likely the Ukrainians. And, uh, just about anyone else would join them to fight the communists. Honestly, I feel like it would have been better to, for the war to have started in Berlin, but... I guess we can pretend that uh, 
we'll just skip that part. Would have been interesting if they attacked through Hungary, because that would be fun. But anyway, I'm I'm ranting too much. I need to. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this. Please don't crash. I know it looks all grainy, but it's just the screen doesn't fit for some reason when I make it bigger. Okay. Now the battle is starting. What are all those lights? Oh, it's the lamps. It's actually awful peaceful, isn't it? You know, there's just a peaceful farmstead with hay. None of them potatoes, the heathens. Oh, look, there's the Soviets. And there's the Americans. Oh, shoot. I forget. There we go, okay. And the Soviets spot the enemy. They don't... Looks like they're sending their weakest men, I think. Looks like, I guess these uh, Americans are the scouts. The real army is yet to come. I don't know, it's just the outside. I want it to be very, very chaotic. It's fun, it's fun to watch the background over there. Look at that, in the building over there. <laughs> Look at those two men, just fighting. I feel like something's not working. Oh, well, maybe I just decided that I wanted to see a skirmish first. And th to be perfectly honest, I had prepared this months ago, but the game kept crashing. And I just, I just stopped. And decided not to make any videos. Even though I could have. I, pl I play HOI 4 non-stop. Oh, and here comes the next wave. Honestly, I don't think the Americans stand a chance with the tanks that they're using right now. Uh, very likely, they would have... Probably immediately after engaging the Russians. Probably used their new tanks, what do you call them? Because up until the Korean War, they were still using the uh, the Shermans. Which was effective, I mean, don't get me wrong, but they were not made for tank-on-tank -tank battle. They were made to support infantry and, you know, get to places quickly. Not to attack other tanks. Uh, the Firefly could do well against them, but really, they didn't make the tanks to fight other tanks. And I realized that these other generals would have realized that, and they would have probably sent the, their more effective tanks, but I'm kind of a retard. I figured that they probably... For every Sherman tank with a 75, all the other... T there will be, like... One Firefly per... Not uh, Firefly, I think that's the British variant. But there will be one 76 per five tanks. And then of course, here come the Soviets. Wow, frame rate really dropped. Oh, that Soviet! We destroyed that poor, uh... Let's say Ukrainian in Somme. You big meanie. Oh, lucky tank. And of course, uh, it's just going, it's, they're just getting wrecked. Look at all those M4s. And look at that Firefly trying to help, but really, they're, they're not all that effective against, ooh. Ooh, tank got destroyed over here. And it was definitely one of the Shermans. Poor Americans. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a very, very smart uh, tank team.
Oh, oh, they must be. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh man, that's a lot of tanks. Oh man, that's gonna cause collateral damage. You know, tanks would should have been destroyed by now. Why are you? Ooh, there are a couple of destroyed Russian tanks, though. A couple, but not that many. Oof. Yeah, several tanks were supposed to have de been destroyed by now, but... I feel like there's a glitch or something. Don't worry. It'll speed up soon. Well, that's gonna cause some collateral damage. Ooh, they actually pierced that tank. There must be several fireflies. Oh dear. Oh, what type of tank is that? I forget. That's a um, KVA5. Well, GG. Oh man. Why are the. I don't know why I gave them so many KV-85s. I wonder how many they actually built. I know I checked it before, but I forgot. And wow, there's... There are fewer Sherman tanks on this side than there are on that side, and boy is that a slaughterhouse. Well, they are effective in taking out... I guess what's left of, uh... The Soviets. What's ironic is, well, the Americans did lose about uh, 600,000 men in the war. I do believe they could have just, you know, did the same things that the Soviets did and just spam infantry and tanks at the enemy because the Soviets would not have enough manpower to both create t tanks and, uh, even use tanks. It, it would take them a lot of time to make these. So they would pretty much be on the defensive for quite a bit. Oh wow. I am impressed by the amount of dead Soviet tanks. I still don't expect the Americans to win, but... Ooh, they actually took out a KV-85. Okay, now I really am impressed. There's still a KV-85 over here. <laughs> why are you ignoring? There's literally a KV-85 right there. Why, why are you, why are you leaving it alone? Shoot it! And they're, they're ignoring a bunch of. Oh, those might not be Soviets. Never mind. It's hard to tell because I'm using this on 720p. Somehow this KB-85 is still alive. Seriously though, take out that KB-85, you should have no problem. Are there still American tanks? What the hell? Well shoot, I thought the Americans won, but I guess uh, the cavalry is finally alive and it's GG for the Americans. There's no reason- oh, wait, it's dead. Okay, good. They still have fireflies available, but they're at the front. Ouch. Just ouch. Just ouch. There's- there's actually an American tank over here. And it's- it's- it, this T-34 is just laughing at them as it's getting hit. And this T-34 is laughing at the other tank- Oh, well, that tank died. But this T-34 is definitely laughing at the enemy. Yep. Nope. Not let- not anymore. It got taken out. And that- What? How- how are you still alive? Oh, now he's doing something stupid. He's showing his side to the enemy. Yep. What? 
Is there another wave coming in? No, it couldn't be. No, there's not another wave. Okay. I that was that. You know, of course, we missed the part where that American tanker died. But we didn't really miss much. That guy was just just something extremely dumb. Why are you guys moving? There's literally enemies right in front of you. Ooh, nice shot. Ooh, double nice shot. There's a firefly. There's still fireflies available. I'm quite impressed. There's some tanks standing around in the back just being annoying. That T-34, if it just stays there. Oh, there are two tanks over here. Yeah, it's it's pretty much GG. They're just playing it smart. Holy! There's still a bunch of American tanks. I'm confused. There's there's no more Soviet tanks coming in, but there's still American tanks coming in. I'm not... Okay. Looks like that Firefly. Ooh, got a nice hit on that KB-85. Still alive though. It's gonna be spotted in a second. Oh, nice shot. I think that pierced it, but it doesn't appear to be out yet. Should be out by now. Yep, KV 85 is dead. There's still some Soviet tanks around. Now, I'm actually impressed that the Americans are, are doing so well. Usually just about every game, it's like... One times out of ten, the Americans win. But the Soviets mostly just squash... <laughs> squash the American tanks. That Firefly is gonna get a side shot. Nope, I guess this is gonna go off. And it's dead. Looks like the Americans are, you know, taking out what's left of the experienced tankmen that the Soviets desperately need. Ooh. Might have hit that thing's transmission. Nah, they're just, uh, jumbled up a bit. I think there's another tank back here? Ooh, that one is just exp Why do I keep missing all the explosions? Oh! This KV-85 is playing smart. It took a few hits, but it's playing smart. Oh. Why Why do- Every time I s go look at another tank, it dies. Why? I didn't do anything. Why are you losing, Soviets? The Americans shouldn't have anywhere near this many tanks. Like, e even when the Americans win, it's usually a fair victory, but this is amazing. They could basically- they get sent- how many tanks is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Some of them are damaged, but they have 26 tanks! There's- there's- <laughs> that's 26 tanks! They might take- no, they got hit. Yeah, it's dead. 26 tanks survived. They should. Oh wait, there are three Russian tanks over here. Uh, they they might have a chance. Yeah, for some reason they decide not to move. Oh, they they just got spotted already. So we got three tanks coming in, trying to keep the Americans from pushing. Uh oh. Ooh, ah, that explosion. Oh, they're just kamikazing towards the enemy. Look at that, those tanks are getting raped. Such heroic, but heroic soldiers, heroic tankmen. I mean, technically I would order you to retreat like any uh, rational person would, but you know, that's pretty brave of you to try to keep the Americans from reaching the city. 
Oh, <laughs> that's not. That's not even fair. That's like 26 tanks ganging, ganging up on three other tanks. That's. Oh, oh, that's just. That's just sad. Oh, that's that's just sad. It, it, <laughs> Oh my goodness, the Soviets got slaughtered. This shouldn't... I mean, they're just destroyed. Are there any Americans left? I need I need to check. No? No Americans? Oh, there might be some here on the map. Yep. Um, no wait, those are Soviets. Why are there still Soviets coming in? You guys should retreat! Defend the city! Please! Please! The tanks are coming! Run for your lives! Ah, shoot. Oh, it's zero, okay. So, I think they're... Oh, those are just tank men. <laughs> there's there's another tank here that its lights are off he's just repairing it there's so many damaged tanks oh man there goes another Sherman you know coming in to help the war effort jeez Okay, we can just pretend, let's just pretend that those uh, Soviets and those tanks that got slaughtered, that they, they were actually newly trained Soviet soldiers, not, uh, uh, not, not, not the, uh, well-trained Soviets. That wasn't... Oh, come on, guys, now you're just bullying them. Stop! Stop! It's not even fair. Okay, well... I should press V already. For some reason I don't see that many American casualties. That's a given. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm pretty sure that more Soviet tanks... Because Americans are supposed to have a slight advantage. They're supposed to have one-third as many American tanks. Look how many American tanks survived! Like, wow. And, and, and there's a bunch of soldiers just hiding behind this one tank and they just got slaughtered. Ugh. And over here, those three brave tank men driving in for their last huzzah. Just, you know, their forward tank got one, but everyone else just got raped. That's just sad. I mean, seriously. And of course the Americans are just gonna keep shooting. Yeah, but that was, uh... Yeah. I should check and see how many tanks does the U.S. have. They have... Somewhere, somewhere. They have 45 M475s, you know, those shitty ones that usually get destroyed before they can even see the enemy. And, uh, da, 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 how many M4s? 12. They had 12 76s. 12. And, and granted, they. Oh, I, I'm not using the US Ranger, I'm just using the regular soldiers, which usually don't take the front line. They had 60 American soldiers. How many. How many does the Soviets have, huh? Soviets had 30. 30 T-3485s and 6 KB-85s. That should have been enough to absolutely destroy the Americans and they still lost. I mean, I mean why? Even, even when the Americans uh, did something smart like hiding most of their tank below the river, because I saw that before, they would stop right here and start shooting at the tanks. They couldn't destroy most of the KV-85s and the T-34s, because their, no their gun nozzles were so shoddy. They kept brushing the front of the tank and getting 
and after that, the T-34s would just turn their turret and shoot at the enemy. And the Fireflies, that, that, or the 76s, they're probably called something else. Let's see. You know, who cares? The, the 76s, like, most of them... They, they would usually get one or two kills per. I almost never saw a, 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 a 75 take out any, any Russian tanks. Any. This should not have been possible. Really. Just look at so many American tanks. Because it was always a feared victory whenever they would have, whenever the Americans w would win. And I played this like, I don't know, 30 times? And they just kept losing and losing so miserably. And it's now when I'm recording, they win? What? What? What happened? Uh, yeah, well, anyway, next map, or next part of the map is just going to be the city. And I'm just going to... Uh, call it, you know, it's such a nice place. We don't want to destroy all the stuff that's, you know, you know, the civilians have. So we're going to order a no explosives type of deal. Here's a train yard. Definitely no explosives. Yeah, they will not be allowed to use explosives and not allowed to use tanks. Maybe some, uh, some, uh, fix, like a... Uh, half track? What do you call them? It's been so long since I played. I'm sorry. I, I'm just... My brain's asleep. Yeah. The M3 or the M5 will have the Americans use those. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> These are the Soviets that are all left. So basically, oh, more Soviets. These poor guys. Yeah, but anyway, I should just go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get another video later on. I don't know, it's, I, I kind of have uh, assignments to do. I'm still attending college after all. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And good day.